All right, so you guys have already seen how to hyperlink. Now I'm going to teach you how to upload videos, okay? So you guys have already viewed on this handset that I actually have some videos already saved, okay, and ready to go. And so what I'm going to have you guys do is go ahead and, and, and view those, okay? And so usually when you turn these on, you'll get this front screen. Okay, again, we go back up to our camera, okay, which will pull up our navigation menu to take a look at our videos. And so... Once you get in there, these are either our videos, okay, or our uh, pictures. And so, to get these on a computer, you need to do a couple of things. Okay, first, you can just lock the screen like so, okay. Then, as you have that here, I need to put this down. You need to plug this into the iPod Touch, okay. So, your computer and your iPod Touch actually need to be connected. Got it. And so what normally happens then you plug it in, your computer recognizes that it's an iPod Touch, and what pops up on your screen is this prompt here. Okay. Now to get the pictures off of the iPod Touch and onto your computer, you click this prompt, move down to the Microsoft Scanner and Camera Wizard. Click OK. And so it's going to take you through a bunch of things. Now this first screen, you can just hit Next. This next screen puts up images or little thumbnails of both your video that you took and also the picture that you took. Okay, you can check which ones you actually want on. Now right now, neither of them are checked. We're gonna check both of them and have both of those upload. Click next for the ones that you want. Now, it says, what do you want to name these? Okay, it doesn't really name what you care what you, you name these, whatever you want. Uh, what you do need to do though is you need to save it somewhere where the computer will allow you in for access later. So for you guys on your student folder, now for mine, I already set it up to go ahead and go right into my file of my earth science stuff, okay? Wherever you guys decide to have these saved, that's where it will save them, okay? And then all you do is you click next once it's saved them, and so it's going through that process and actually went through relatively quickly. Now it asks you what you wanna do once you've uploaded them. We click nothing because we're not putting them on the internet or anything like that, okay? And that's basically it then. It says, okay, two pictures were copied, they're in your folder, and so then pops up the folder that they were saved in. 